Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming a lip swatch video. You guys love this. This is on the Flower Beauty, um, what are these called? The Miracle Matte Lips, so liquid lipsticks. I checked out Chemist Warehouse and they had the Flower Beauty range and I had a couple of requests to review the products. So I have already filmed a foundation review for the Flower Beauty foundation, as well as like a full face tutorial with the eyeshadow palette, blushes, the concealer, the chubby stick, lipstick. So if you guys want to check that out, I will probably link it up right here, maybe, if I can. If you want to watch me swatching all of these, then keep watching. By the way, please do not ask me about this lip. I mixed like four of these together and I used a different lip liner and I used a gloss. We had like one of those situations where nothing looked quite right with this makeup look. So excuse that. I just want to grab some, whatever it's called, lip makeup removal. By the way, if you guys want to know what my foundation shades are, as always, they are just listed in the description box. First up, we have the shade Almost Nude. I apologize, my lips are so dry and they've got, they're stained. Lord, this is bright. I think this was the lightest shade and I tried to get it so you guys can see how just how light it is. Is it me or does it look as light in the tube? It is scented, it's scented like quite sweet, like vanilla, I don't know, custody, like it's sweet. Okay, so that's pretty much dry. Obviously, it is way too light for me. It's kind of more of a, okay, I'm gonna use the word chalky pink, but that's not to say that it's like, um, for me, it looks chalky, obviously, because of my skin tone, but for someone that's quite fair skin, like, it might look really pretty. But yeah, this is the shade Almost Nude, and it is pretty much transfer proof. Like, you can see, like, a faint out outline, but yeah. If you have fair skin and you have tried this, please let me know what you think of it, because I would be interested to know. Once again, this is Almost Nude. Next up, we have the shade Bear Honey. Dun, dun, dun. We're going slightly darker. These are very like creamy. I want to call them moussey, but they're very, yeah, nah, they're just creamy. This color is finally dry and to be honest, I'm not like mad at it, you know what I mean? Like I feel like I could make this work with a dark lip liner like I always do. But yeah, I definitely wouldn't wear it by itself but it's kind of like a bit of a mid-tone pink but definitely would need a lip liner. Like my skin tone is too kind of deep for it to be worn by itself. That's my personal preference so yeah, definitely would wear it with a lip liner. Once again, this is Bear Honey. Next up, we have the shade Rosewood. Oh yeah, liking this. I think if it was a little bit lighter, I wouldn't like it, but because it's like a bit of a darker brick shade, we're just gonna give it a moment. Just gonna let it dry. I don't know what to describe it as, like a muted kind of berry shade, but not I don't know, you know? I don't know how to describe the shade, but I do actually really like it. It's a pretty color. Big fan. So yeah, once again, this was the shade Rosewood. Dry is a little bit different compared to the two. You know? Anyways, yeah, once again, this is Rosewood. Next up, we have the shade Dark and, whoa, almost dropped it. Dark and Stormy. I feel like this was way before Stormy Jenna, right? Or Stormy Webster, whatever they called that cute cat child. I feel like I'm gonna like this one. It's a really nice purple, like it's not a warm, it's a cool tone purple I would say. It looks a little bit more deeper on camera than it, I mean in person than it does on camera. But I am a fan, like I like this. Whoa, it looks kind of different. Is it me? This is dark and stormy, eh? I think it's kind of like how with Colourpop, um, previously I'd said that the swatches online don't really look like what the product looks like when you get them. Like it looks sometimes slightly darker or slightly lighter. So I think this might be a similar situation, but um, because as you can tell, they're very different when it dries and when it's applied. So yeah, once again, this is dark and stormy. Next up, we have the shade Fig Frenzy. Oh my gosh, I already feel like I'm gonna love this one. First 
firstly because the name says fig secondly because it's like a purple i love purple's my favorite color and i don't know why it just has a special place in my heart for this all things purple like i love the huda beauty liquid matte in the shade vixen i think the no wait i think it's material girl it's like a bright purple yes sorry about my lips being so dry like i can't even exfoliate it because it's I bit the skin off and it's trying to grow back and if I exfoliate it that one piece that one layer of skin will just like um get raw. Okay, so I have had enough of trying to wait for this to dry. I feel like it's still not dry. Um I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like these take a little bit longer to dry, especially this one than what I'm used to, but oh my gosh, the color. Really pretty vampy. Um I guess it's a good one for winter, but to be honest, like I would rock any color in any season. You're not just limited to like the colder seasons um but yeah once again this is fig frenzy and i really like it oh my gosh it's a lot darker than what i thought it would be i thought it'd be kind of more like burgundy but more purple once again this is fig frenzy next up i think it's gonna be another one that i really like it's the shade merlot kiss it's a it looks like a fuchsia yes I think this has to be one of my favorite colors just because of the um the like rich opaque color it's very like berry why is it always uneven this side let me do that beautiful berry shade so yeah this is one of my favorites for sure once again this is merlot kiss last color before my lips fall off um this is the shade scarlet letter i think there was two reds did i get the one that's more blue based I think there would have been like an orange based one as well, but you know, to get this one. I like how much the wand covers each time you apply it, like meaning it covers like a large surface area. I thought this was blue based red but on camera it's looking like an orange. I'm really confused as to what I got. But yeah, this is Scarlet Letter. Well, okay, in person it looks, in person it does look blue based red but then on camera it literally looks orange, right? I don't know. Please get some other opinions because I don't know what's happening here. I don't know if it's my camera, I don't know if it's me, I don't know if it's because it's the um, monitor that I'm using. Like what's weird is in person my teeth look more yellow but on camera it doesn't so... I don't know. Please find additional photos, videos of people trying this on so you can get like a more rounded opinion of the shade. And I do really like this shade. So yeah, once again, this is Scarlet Letter. So that's the end of the video. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these lipsticks and have you also tried her um, bullet lipsticks, like the normal lipsticks, like the non-liquid lips, because I was also tempted in getting those so I could try them out. Let me know if you guys have tried it. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any other video requests, then please leave them down in the comments. I try to reply to all comments in the first 60 minutes of my videos going live so come say hello and yeah subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye everyone so oh this looks a lot better oh well i'm totally wearing the same shirt in the foundation review video but i don't want to change because then i'm gonna make up my clothes and you know what just just don't worry about it, you know? Don't worry about it. When you're a YouTuber and you've got another full-time job and YouTube is also pretty much a full-time job, um, you just gotta bulk film, you know? Anyways. Dun, dun, dun. This one dried really quickly. I think, I don't know if it's because I did a really good layer. Was this just like a trouble shade? I don't know, but I'm finished.